Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode number 38. This is going to be the introduction to uh, matrices, and we're going to be doing 2D translation with the matrix, as opposed to just the simple uh, equation that we used before. So let's just take a little bit of breather to learn about some matrices very briefly, and then we'll get to the code shortly thereafter. So a matrix is just basically an array of numbers ranged in rows and columns. So you can see here we have rows and we have columns A, D, G. A vector is, is represented by in tuples, such coordinates. So we have X, Y, Z. And that can be displayed vertically or horizontally, it doesn't really matter. Matrix multiplication, which is when you multiply a vector by a matrix, is non commutative, meaning uh, the vector times the matrix is not equal to the matrix times the vector. So that's really important, and we'll look at that in later episodes. A couple ABI things I've learned today is uh, in GLSL we have uniform map fours, and we also have uniform matrix four FV. Um, so we can look at those. Here's an example of multiplication, where we have these new values in this new vector are equal to this uh, matrix here times the values in this vector right here. And what this ends up doing is takes each of these values and multiplies it to its corresponding one in this column. So x times a, x times d, and x times g, y times b, e, and h, and z times c, f, and i. And then the x prime is the sum of these three. So you can see a x plus b y plus c z, y prime is dx plus e y plus s e, and so on and so forth. Um, so now we're going to look at compare it to the translation that we had before, which we just had a um, translated value. So we have this constant translation, and we don't have that available to us right now because we have all of these uh, actual values. So we're going to increase the size of this from being a 3 by 3 to being a 4. Uh, so we're going to have a constant of 1, rewriting out this whole thing here, and then our multiplier has to have the extra one as well. So this is going to end up resulting with these formulas, very similar to the ones above. Um, the main difference is that we have this constant value on the end for each of these. So now we can easily translate that a needs to be equal to uh, one. All of these need to be zero because x is not being modified by that way. And d is going to be the translation of x. Similarly, this is going to be a 0, so e is 0, g is 0, and h is going to be the translation of y, while f is 1, and so on and so forth. So this is what our trans, uh, our matrix looks like. So we have basically a, a, an identity matrix here. Actually, a 1, excuse me. Basically an identity matrix here with the translation values being multiplied for the constant that's going to be added to each. Now it should be noted that in WebGL, we're using column major order, meaning the, the stored elements in the matrix are stored downwards. So it's going to be A, E, I, M, B, F, J, N, etc., as opposed to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So when you actually look at this, this uh, T, X, T, Y, T, Z are going to be down here when you're looking at them in the code. And it just looks a little weird, but just remember that that's why, because we store things in column major order and not row major order. So let's just take a look very briefly at our vertex GLSL. Very simple, we're just taking in another uniform, but it's a matrix. So now we can just multiply this matrix times the position. And that's very, very simple, so that's nice. Uh, going on here into our um, JavaScript, nothing is out of place here. We're going to draw a very simple triangle here, um, just as before. It's a very small triangle. And then after when we run to the buffers, we're going to go ahead and do our translation of the matrix. Before we do that, you can see we have a triangle here displayed in the middle. And this, if we have 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, this basically means we have the identity matrix. And that's what, anytime we just have 1s going down the column middle is an uh, identity matrix. So we can go ahead and comment this guy out. And you already saw the results earlier, but I'll show you again. And if we're going to translate everything by halfway uh, across the uh, distance, because remember, we're, we're then 
uh, negative one to one space, all of these translations will be um, set accordingly. So um, we're going to go ahead and grab that uniform trans uh, formation matrix from the vertex shader, and then we're going to use gl.uniform matrix for FV with the location, which is the transformation matrix, transpose, which always needs to be false in WebGL, and the actual translation array given here. This is a uh, note that this is a float32 array because uh, there's no sense of uh, matrices within JavaScript. So that's what they need. So now that we uncomment that, as you can see, we've translated 50% over and 50% up. And now we're up to the new not percent, 50.5. Uh, and now you can see we're all the way up here. So you can go ahead and play with that. And we're going to look at rotation and scaling uh, up next. And then after we do that, we're going to start doing some more complex things where you can do uh, rotation and translation simultaneously. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe, uh, like this video, um, share it on social media if you will, and go ahead to programmingtil.com and uh, sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.